Hey everybody. So <clears throat> I got a request the other day um, for a recipe that I love to make in the fall and winter. And I started racking my brain because I, I am absolutely just not there yet. I'm really trying to enjoy the peaches and the plums and the corn. Um, but I was trying to think like, what is comforting in the winter? What do I love to have on hand all the time? And the truth is that I really love a very simple recipe uh, for chocolate sauce. And the reason I love this recipe is because you can actually can it like you would can jam. I'll tell you about that in a minute. And um, I love to have this in the cupboard. I love to give it as a gift. You can put it on some fruit. It's very simple chocolate sauce on ice cream, on fruit. Um, and when growing up, my mother used to make this and we would put it in um, hot chocolate. So you can just stir this into some milk heat it up on the stove top and like instant, really, really high quality, really delicious, uh, dark, deep, dark, rich, hot chocolate. So I got a little pan going here. Um, this is a simple syrup made up of equal parts of sugar and water. So if you want to have a large batch, you can do a little bit more. I'm making a really small batch here because I just wanted to show you guys what this is all about. So I have um, one cup of sugar and one cup of water here boiling away. And what I'm going to do is leave it just boil a little bit. Let me grab a spatula here and I'm going to add some cocoa powder to it and then some other flavorings. So you can add what you like. Um, and so what I have here is a really dark, it's very messy. This is a very dark 100% cocoa powder from um, DeBerry brand that I absolutely love. They have really high quality um, chocolate ingredients. And I'm going to stir half a cup into here, but I just want to show you how dark and rich this chocolate is it's like almost black really really dark um, not the same as like fries cocoa powder so try and get a really deep dark cocoa powder um, even if you have to get it like bulk store gourmet store so this is boiling it's been boiling for a couple minutes two minutes um, I'm gonna take this off and actually need a whisk this is my favorite whisk doesn't let anything fly out of the pan and I'm gonna put the cocoa powder right in sometimes it kind of fluffs up so that's half a cup of cocoa powder, and I'm gonna stir it around because I don't want any lumps in there. No lumps. So I'm gonna stir it around really, really well, make sure everything breaks down, and it's kind of cooking the cocoa powder. It smells really, really nice. Um, okay, so that's all in there. Now I'm gonna put it back on here, and I wanna cook it a little bit more, but after that, after it cooks down a little bit, I see there's all sorts of little things on the edge here. So I'm going to cook it maybe another minute, couple of minutes. You kind of see it gets pretty thick. Um, I'm going to add some really high quality vanilla. Do yourself a favor, get some really, really good quality vanilla. Always have that in your cupboard. Um, I also have a little bit of cinnamon here, my favorite cinnamon. So um, that's good to have on hand. This is bubbling away. I just want to show you that. Okay, you don't want to burn it. So once it's at this point, I'd say turn it off. That's good. You've kind of got the whole thing kind of boiling so it's going to be thick. Do you want to add any kind of flavorings? Um, go wild. This is some orange oil. I'm just going to add a drop. This is maybe something kids would like, but if you're giving it to an adult as a gift, super. Let's pull this off the heat so it doesn't keep cooking. And I like to add in a little pinch of salt. Like, I mean, just a, just a tiny sprinkle. It gives it a little bit more depth. You could add coffee into here. I mean, really, you know, let your imagination go, kind of like raspberry flavoring. So I'm gonna also put a pinch of um, cinnamon in, not too much, I just want it to have a little bit of essence and maybe half a teaspoon of vanilla. I really like it to have a super chocolatey flavor. Okay, stir this around, make sure that all gets mixed through thoroughly. I'd like to add a, just a drop. This orange oil is like extremely potent. So it's even dangerous to like pour it like this. One drop, one drop, one drop. Okay, good. So what I generally do if I'm making a big batch of this is to do an oven canning process. The oven canning process is something I use for jam as well. Um, what I do is take my jars, fresh mason jars, clean lids, um, make sure you wash them, and then I will take a tray, it depends on how many you have, small tray, big tray, it doesn't really matter. And I will fill my tray up with jars. Um, sometimes I use large jars and small jars so I can give away a small gift or I have a big one. If I know I'm having a lot of people over, I can have a big jar of syrup, open it. Um, and I will put this in the oven. You don't have to put the lids in actually, take the lids off. Take these off 
and put these jars in the oven at 200 degrees for about 15, 20 minutes. You're sterilizing the jars. You're getting the jar itself really, really hot. That way, when you put the, um, whatever you're making, jam or chocolate sauce, when you put it in and you close the lid, it's going to like have a suction and keep it really fresh. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do here is pour in my chocolate sauce. Look at this. I mean, this is, you're going to love this. Oh yeah. All right. Pour in my chocolate sauce, not all the way to the top. You want to leave a little bit of a lip there. Then I'm going to put my lid back on. And like I said, normally I do a much bigger batch of this, but have to do a photo for um, an article that's coming out in the kit. If you don't know the kit, you should sign up. The Kit CA um, on Instagram. I'll put a link somewhere there. So when I close this lid, I'm going to do it finger tight. That means like just as far as like loose fingers will hold it. That way it's kind of on there. I'm gonna put it back in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes, 200 degrees. Um, after 15 minutes, I'm gonna pull this out and I'm gonna leave it on the stove top. Um, you can put it on a, a uh, wire rack if you want. And then once those come out, I'm gonna take a towel, my towel's here. I'm gonna take a towel and I am going to, it's very hot, I'm gonna really tighten this put it back down. I'm going to leave them. And as I walk away, I'm going to hear them all pop. They're going to make this sound. Can you hear that? There. That sound. Uh, once they, once the heat suctions the lid down, makes a pop and that will be good to keep in your cupboard. Great to give as a gift. Once you open it, you can leave it in the fridge for about two or three weeks. And, uh, this is my awesome tip going into winter. I hate to say that winter is coming, but it is. And uh, this will keep you happy for a long time, keep the kids happy, and be an amazing gift for all your friends. And uh, hot chocolate all winter long. I think that should be the mantra of 2020, the hot chocolate winter. Every day, have a hot chocolate. So uh, I hope you enjoy this tip. I'd love to see what you're making with it. So uh, tag me at uh, Zoe Ford Montreal. And uh, if you want to check out our pantry, you can go to zoeford.com. We always have really fun stuff in there. Lots of our baking mixes, new baking mixes are coming. You can also sign up to the newsletter. Every week I post a new recipe and you can watch the video. So uh, sign up to that in the, uh, at zoeford.com. And uh, I hope you enjoy this and I hope you are having a very lovely fall. Bye.